Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the 36 set of Angora opaque watercolor paints. These are unique because they are similar to a gouache in terms of opacity, but they are technically a watercolor. These would be ideal for someone who likes to paint in layers, letting the paint dry in between. They are vibrant and don't mix muddy colors, so we know that they have great pigmentation. I will be showing you a step-by-step -step in my sketchbook of some flowers that I painted with this set. It's my first time using it, but at the end of my painting I figured out how they work and I will definitely be using them again. Before you start painting, I highly recommend misting them with some water and letting them sit for about a minute. The colors pick up much easier on your brush and provide more color. I'm going to start my sketch with some really loose gestural forms of flowers. I didn't even sketch anything out. Next, I'll be building up my layers to define my forms and also provide more contrast to the flowers. These paints allow you to build up highlights and shadows as you'd like. There's no pre-planning involved, really, because you can always add another layer of color right on top of an area due to the opacity of the paint. I also did want to mention during this video that I looked up the Lightfast ratings of these opaque watercolors and they are actually really great. So they're not only for sketches, but you can also use them for finished pieces of art. At this point, our flowers are starting to take shape. They have a great color too, but they are still a little bit loose for my liking. So the next step will be to clean up our edges and we can do that by using watercolored pencils. I like to use different colors that are similar to the base color of the flowers. And now that my edges are clearly defined, I will be redefining my highlights and my colors further. Although these paints are opaque, I will be using Amsterdam acrylic ink to add some of my final highlights. This is a very bright white. Um, but also for some other areas, I will be tinting the ink by mixing it in with my watercolor paint. And this is going to sit right on top of the other layers of watercolors that we've already done. Another benefit of watercolor pencils is that you can plug them into areas and then blend them out with a wet brush. The watercolor pencils sit right on top of the ink and paint, and they'll leave us with very crisp edges where we want them. If you want the edges to be softer, then all you have to do is blend them out with a wet brush. I've added a couple little areas of metallic watercolor to this piece as well. This is the Sparkle Pink by Rembrandt Watercolor. Overall, I recommend the Angora paint set, especially the 36, because there are so many different colors to choose from. They're non-toxic, they're opaque like they claim, and they also have great pigmentation and light fast qualities. So hopefully this helped and you learned something. Thanks so much for watching.